eclistimab is a BCMA directed bispecific monoclonal antibody that is uh, based off of um, the Janssen dual body technology platform. Um, and this uh, first in human phase one study uh, was initiated, um, I believe, a little over three years ago. Um, and um, the initial part of the study um, um, is uh, a dose escalation um, uh, study. Um, the drug is given intravenously. Um, the objectives of this particular dose escalation phase one uh, were again, you know, looking at uh, safety and tolerability, um, as well as uh, looking at um, uh, the uh, pharmacokinetics and pharmacodynamics of, of this uh, uh, particular therapy. Um, you know, in terms of safety, we were all obviously cognizant of uh, the potential for cytokine release and neurotoxicity. As in principle, uh, you know, the, the technology um, and, and this modality uh, would have similar kind of um, uh, safety profile um, uh, to potentially CAR T cell therapy. Um, so I'm, I'm reporting on um, the initial cohorts leading up to the dose of 720 micrograms per kilogram. Um, we did not have the efficacy for the 720 micrograms per kilogram group. Um, and and um, you know, I've, I've reported uh, this uh, safety on behalf of all the investigators, um, demonstrating um, that uh, we observed, as we would expect for a median of six prior lines of treatment patient population, um, um, a good safety profile from the hematologic standpoint. Interestingly, we did not see um, any grade three um, CRS, you know, the CRS that we saw in 58% of the patients, um, you know, a little over 70 patients that were treated uh, was, was um, only about 58% uh, or so. Um, um, also interesting to note um, that we only saw six uh, uh, neurotoxicity events uh, out of, um, you know, the 78 patients that were treated. Uh, and of those six uh, events, uh, four were grade one and two. Um, so, you know, all in all, uh, we saw um, good safety uh, for this uh, particular therapy. Um, in terms of efficacy, uh, we see that the 270 microgram per kilogram um, dose group where we start uh, seeing more consistent activity, uh, we saw an overall response rate of uh, 67%. And um, of those patients, uh, you know, um, uh, we did see um, uh, CRs in three patients, VGPR in three patients. So the depth of response is good, and, and the depth of response continues to improve uh, with the passage of time. Um, and, you know, we're, we're hoping that uh, we would be able to continue the um, dose escalation um, and, and look at the efficacy in the 720 microgram per kilogram uh, dosing schema. Uh, we did introduce a step-up dosing um, schema which helps mitigate the uh, potential for CRS. Uh, at least that's what the investigators are, are thinking. So we will continue to explore that strategy moving forward.